baseball season. It is in full swing. The Indians aren't just doing well on the field either. They're doing good out in the community. A lot of good. The ETM's community reporter Lauren Wilson is live at Progressive Field this morning. And Lauren, the Boys and Girls Club is just one of the charities the team supports. Good morning, guys. Yes, last season during the World Series, nearly 100,000 people filled the seats here at Progressive Field to cheer on the tribe and watching it on the big screen while they were away at games. Now the team made about $230,000 from that time, so they wanted to donate it to local charities. And I'm told one girl, it was a, a total game changer for her. I'm the first person in my family to actually go to college for a degree. And um, it's just, it means the world. 18-year-old Zayliani Moheka is a die-hard Indians fan and a dedicated member of the Boys and Girls Club. She knows firsthand how donations from the Indians does good. Some of the money the tribe gave the Girls and Boys Club pays for her college scholarship. I'm told she's just one example of how the club benefits from the team's donation. Each year, program directors tell me they also help expose kids to games and other events that they might not have been able to attend before. As for Zaley Ani, she tells me it's given her another reason to stay connected to the team and sport she loves. I think it's special because it shows that there's people out there that care about us and there's people that are willing to help us. Now, not only did Zaliani, uh, was she able to get a scholarship for college, she was also able to throw the first pitch for one of the games last season, and she was able to take the ball out to the mound during the World Series. So pretty cool, pretty awesome time for her. At Progressive Field, Lauren Wilson for the E-Team. Guys, back to you. Gosh, what